Uh, hello guys. In the last video, I started talking with you about Finland and my movement here and my studies. And I really want to share all this information with you as I've told you. But today, I feel I really feel like I have to share my feelings now because I started feeling strangely uh, from yesterday. And this feeling is last today, but it still exists. And I think it's very important to uh, tell you about this feeling now while I'm really feeling it now. So, what is this? What's this feeling? It's really hard to explain your feelings, so sorry for maybe some not really accurate things. But I started feeling empty yesterday and I noticed that my mood was really not good <laughs> and I started asking myself what is going on what what is with my mood because I know that there are some days when you just do not have mood because of something happened or just you don't have it but I felt that something was wrong that my mood is not good because something is wrong and I uh, came to the conclusion that uh, my mood is not good because I started realizing that I'm here and now my adult life is starting and it actually has already started and it's not an easy thing to accept um, I'm not telling that I was not prepared for it. I can I can live alone and I can cook, I can do all these household chores, I can save money, I I can live alone. But it's not the same thing being able to live alone and understanding and accepting this fact that now you're an adult and now you should live alone and do all your things uh, on your own and you are responsible for your life, not your parents anymore. Like maybe financially, yes, but you are responsible now for everything that is happening now. And I also had this feeling like now I'm here and I'm alone. And um, I also was empty to some extent because the real studies haven't uh, didn't start. Uh, sorry, uh, haven't started yet. Uh, like we have this introduction or lessons and all the starting things um, and I hope it won't continue like this like there will be more more information more studies and I understand that actually it's right that it's like this now because uh, otherwise we will just it will be too hard to adapt to the situation to also do a lot of things at studies and actually we have things to do but um, the thing that no one cares what you do like in a good way so if you want to read a book uh, uh, about eco economics for example you can read a book no one tells you like you should read this book like if you want you can if you don't don't read it just do the tasks so it's also the fact that it's quite hard to accept and um, also the fact that uh, we are not so close with uh, uh, my new classmates as I wanted to and uh, actually I'm not right here like it, it's been only three weeks and it's I think impossible to become like a family in three weeks especially when you didn't really communicate during the first one because there were not studies um, and new people still arrive so but you know we are people and we it's hard to control feelings so maybe if i spend time with people if i communicate with them you somehow feel alone and i think it's the thing that everyone comes through when they move to another country what's the sound there um i hope you don't hear it <laughs> um and uh, I walk with people, I chill with them, I communicate with them, but still I come back home and I understand that hmm, here I am. I 
learn German, I watch series, I do my tasks, I eat, and that's it. So the same things every day. And um, uh, I felt empty because of it, I think. And another reason for it was, it, it's my opinion, I can't be sure because it's something that I feel and uh, I analyze these feelings uh, and I try to um, convey these feelings to you because I think it's interesting for you and it's crucial for me to share them with you. So I think another reason was that I I'm somehow lost lost in my life life sorry I'm somehow lost in my life now because you know this big big aim of studying abroad of finishing school studying abroad and living there is uh, like is achieved and it's been little time to uh, set another goal uh, like I know what I in general want from life but it just you know general ideas it's not like the aim like I want this and it's been a little time to set these objectives so it's like mm, I don't even know how to call this period but it's like you go from one step of your life to another and here is just this empty space uh, because you reached something and now you're kind of lost because you can't understand what you want now, what you like now, uh, what it all will lead to, uh, what these things will lead to. And I think that it's also it also can be a reason for this emptiness inside. But uh, I'm struggling with this feeling now, and I I don't I don't want you to think that I'm sad because I I've moved to to Finland and I've started uh, studying here. That I'm sad that uh, I maybe I'm not so close friends now with someone. No, I'm not sad about this. But it's the this feeling that I think. Um, the feeling of realization that you are here and I also uh, found myself waking up at night and not really understanding where I am and you know when you're just uh, wake up in, in at night you your thoughts are really confusing and I um, found myself thinking oh where is the floor where is the wall because at my home I sleep like there is the wall and here is the floor and here it's the uh, places are changed so I'm like um, I fell from the bed I think two times <laughs> uh, and like oh where where I am and um, I actually thought at night that I'm at home and that I open my eyes and I understand that I'm in Finland here so I think it's a rehabilitation period or it's this period of understanding and realizing where you are that is not so easy but it's possible to struggle with it and um, I think that's it I really wanted to share this video with you to, to share these feelings with you and to shoot this video because I think it's very important to know what you can feel when you move to another country or even to another city um, so that you will be ready for it um, so that's it. Thank you for watching. See you soon.